Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Joe Figueroa with another video in our series Anatomy of a Dance, where I break down social dancing count for count, pointing out everything that dancers do. This week's video is going to be about some cool movements and a social dance tactic I recently noticed when watching this video, what I'm referring to as the Burns Method. Don't worry, I'll explain. But first, please subscribe and ring the bell. If you'd like to support the channel, we now have a link that you can click on in the description below. But you better do it fast, because we're starting right now. This is Tomas Guerrero, dancing with Laura. Tomas is an OG New York salsero who founded the legendary dance team Santo Rico. One thing Tommy and Santo Rico was known for was their spinning ability. Tommy was one of the first well-known salseros I ever met. Despite having an imposing presence, Tommy is always kind and has a smile for the people he meets. There are a few things I like in this dance. I'm going to start with this cumbia step performed here. Tommy first gives Lara a triple spin from a handshake hold position. After the third, Tommy raises his left hand up to her eye level, picking up her left hand in the process. Both back break for the cumbia or cobra break. Tommy is creating a stretch effect in the hands that I've spoken about before, trading places in the process. Notice the symmetry as they both back break again on two. Now to my students, I tell them that the stretch effect should happen on the way in and on the way out. Here's the part I like. He returns to the center of the line, bringing her toward him, past him actually. This is similar to what I talked about with Z a couple of weeks ago. Look at how Tommy keeps the left hands low as he raises the right hands up, creating the high and low lead I talked about last week. He brings the left hands to his right hip. This cuts off Laura's movement, defining her line by defining the center of the line. Once defined, Tommy can easily continue to raise the right hands up over her head and then his own, giving Laura the ability to take the normal cumbia steps, putting her right back to where she began. We can't see it, but it leaves Laura with her arms spread out to their respective sides, while causing Tommy's arms to cross in front of him. He brings her right hand down to his left hip, stretching her arms back, way back. I'm very bendy. Tommy lets the right hand hold go, and makes a quick hand switch to lead Lara out into a free spin before they go into the shines. This was actually the first example of the Burns method I mentioned in the intro, but I'm going to hang on to that for a moment. First, let me point out this very cool inside turn to lasso and check. Tommy and Lara break back for a copa on six with Tommy's right hand high and left hand low. <clears throat> clear high, clear low. Tommy passes the right over her head and releases the left, giving Lara an opportunity to style with it. From the copa, an inside turn with Tommy's right arm hold wrapping at her midsection. Typical for any lasso. Here's where it gets cool. Tommy takes a deep step on five toward her in order to bridge the gap. Pulls her back to the position he was in while stepping into the position she was in. Notice leads how he placed his left hand to Laura's lower back. This is providing information, letting her know where he is so she doesn't have to go looking for him. Once he is in front of her, he raises his right hand, her left, straight up, seemingly over his head, but in actuality, it's up and in between them. This happens so fast, you could miss it. First, again notice the high and low. He releases his left hand from Laura's hip once he has raised her left arm up. Then he sends her left hand downward. This seems like it was chance, but I don't think so. He wanted her elbow, so he pressed downward, causing her arm to bend at the elbow where he was able to catch it in his left hand. The energy he put into the push causes her left arm to straighten. At the same time, Tommy takes his right hand that he had high and reaches to pick up Lara's right arm at the same place he has her left, providing lead on both sides of her. Doesn't that sound familiar? This happened during six, seven, and one. Tommy steps two toward her. Lara is taking her two step toward him. But now that Tommy has her arms in that kind of T position, he's able to send her back in the other direction for a triple turn. Look at how he has his left hand palm up and right hand palm down, giving him the ability to create a push feel on one side and a pull feel on the other. I mean, damn. Okay, so the Burns method. Who out there remembers the comedian George Burns? I smoke between 15 and 20 cigars a day. Yeah. At 93, if I can get it into a holdup. <laughs> Hasn't your doctor said to you, now, George, you got My it. doctor is dead. <laughs> 
George Burns always had a cigar in his hand. Once he would get to the punchline of any joke, he would take a puff from the cigar. So he kind of trained you to laugh by stopping to take a puff. That's what Tommy does in the first two examples I showed. No, he's not smoking a cigar, and no one's laughing at him. But in order to break into shines or footwork, Tommy stops the dance in a dramatic way, indicating to the follow that they are taking a break from partner dancing and will be dancing solo for a moment. Is that reaching? Is that not a thing? Okay, moving on. Lastly, check out this rotation movement. Tommy brings Laura in to meet in the middle. The first half of the rotation begins, bringing Laura to the opposite position. Now an average dancer would just keep the rotation going until the follow was full circle, but not Mr. Guerrero. At the 180 degree point of the rotation, with a simple passing of the handhold between them, Tommy changes the dynamic of the movement, giving Laura a straight line to walk, returning her to her original position, but having her pivot to her left at the end in order to do so. The hands pass between them and then over her head to create the change in direction. So it's like doing a rotation with a cumbia finish. We can't see it, but once again, Tommy switches his handhold to separate Laura's arms in kind of a T position, giving her a moment to react to the music. Then a back pass, which I did a video on before, to finish telling the story. Oh wait, one more real quick. I just saw this. Check out this crossbody lead. Tommy has this quick skip step at the end of it, leading into another crossbody lead. See here, he's back on two, takes a deep step forward with Laura on three. This helps position him for the upcoming styling. Raises the right knee to his left, the outside of her body, so he's clear of any impact. Once she steps down on five, Tommy taps down with his right and then skips forward just a bit on his left on six, when bringing the right back to tap it down again, but this time behind him, also on six. Not done. He steps down on seven in place, defining the center of the line extends his right leg out to the side as Laura passes him and goes into a hook turn, placing his hand behind his back for what I actually wanted to point out. Displaying what can only be described as Cirque du Soleil double jointedness. Tommy gives as much of his arm as possible behind his back to give Laura as much room on the line as possible. Reaches up with his right hand, asking for her left since he's still holding her right. Look at how he brings the hand to her eye level, making sure she can see it given the already awkward hold he has. They connect and Tommy leads a triple. Still not done. Tommy sidesteps and tilts to his left, reaching again with his left behind his back to regain her right hand hold, which he had to let go for the triple. He makes that connection and instantly creates a rubber band effect for Laura, leading her into a copa break. He does this by passing his high hand, his right, over her head, putting them back to back in another type of T position. Then proving his previous career as a contortionist, raises his left arm up over his head from behind his back. I'm very bendy. And over her head for an inside turn to check. Have you any idea the level of commitment you must have to see that movement through given the position? That's one in a million execution right there. I'm very bendy. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This content is for you to benefit from. So if you want to support, click on the link in the description. I really appreciate all the feedback you've given. Comments, likes, and even dislikes help me to provide you with the best content that I can. So hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, keep dancing.